Hi, I'm Beverly Rollins. I'm a member of the Montgomery County Commission on Aging. My younger sister uh, suffered 36 years with multiple sclerosis. And my, even though she and my brother-in-law had some part-time caregivers, basically my brother-in-law was her primary caregiver. And um, one day he died suddenly of a heart attack. So that left me and my 85 year old parents basically in charge of her care. And I lived three and a half hours away. Uh, my parents, although they lived close by, they were 85 years old, they couldn't do that much. So basically it fell into my hands to be, to find her uh, caregivers. And I, um, I have a bachelor's degree in social work and I worked as a social worker early in my career. And then later I worked for a federal agency that deals with uh, older adults and with disabled individuals. And I, even with that experience, I had not a clue um, how to find caregiving organizations, especially three and a half hours away from me. So things were very chaotic um, right after my brother-in-law died. And uh, I didn't know where to look. So I went online and I did all these searches and I was panic stricken. I couldn't find anything, couldn't find anything, couldn't find anything. And finally, after, um, you know, maybe an hour of looking, I found this one that looked promising. So I called this phone number that for this care, what I thought was a caregiving organization and a nice woman answered the phone, First National Bank. I said, what? First National Bank? And I was so taken aback and so panic stricken, I just burst into tears. I thought I was finally finding somebody, a caregiving organization, and the number on the search was for the bank, the First National Bank. So the poor lady who answered the phone was, <laughs> she didn't know what to do. She, she, she was, you know, she, she said, oh, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I said, I'm trying to find a caregiving organization. And she said, uh, oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've, I've seen a commercial on TV for this caregiving organization. Hold on for a minute and I'll look it up in the phone book for you. So she looked it up and that's how I found my sister's caregiving organization. And I'm thinking if I had that much trouble and I was, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm a trained social worker and I, I can't imagine that other people don't have that much trouble. And so we used this caregiving organization and I shortly found out that, um, uh, that most of the care my sister needed was what insurance companies, Medicare considered unskilled help. Although they're very highly skilled in what they do, it's like helping people get dressed, helping people fix their meals, helping them shower. And the insurance company and Medicare basically paid for a nurse to come in two or three times a week and spend maybe an hour. But that's not what my sister needed. And eventually my parents too. That's what not what she, they needed you know, people to help them get dressed, what the insurance companies and Medicare consider unskilled help, but they are very skilled. And so my sister's husband, luckily had been a federal employee and he left her a nice life insurance policy and, um, you know, thrift savings plan. But we wanted to keep my sister in her home. And so we, we hired these caregivers and we buzzed through my sister's uh, inheritance within two years and then after that the family had to kick in and pay for these caregivers so these so that my sister could remain in her house until until she died and I feel very grateful for that thank you mm -hmm.